Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully designed user form for our billing and inventory management system. In this episode, we will create business logic layer for our user module that is getter and setter for our user module. If you don't know what business logic layer is, then I would like to say that our project is completely based on three type architecture of software development. Among these three layers, the first one is presentation or UI layer that is Windows form and we have successfully designed user form for our user module and the second one is business logic layer where we create getter and setter for our modules like user category and products and the third one is data access layer where we create class with methods to insert update delete select data for our different module so without further delay let's move to our tutorial <laughs> Let's start our project. I'll go to any store and open my solution or open my project. Go to solution explorer. I have already created a presentation or UI layer and it is on our folder called UI. I'll create another folder for business logic layer. Just right click on project and add and click on new folder. I'll type it BLL that is business logic layer and press enter. So we have created a new folder which will hold all the classes of business logic layer. So I will create a business logic for our user module. So just right click on BLL folder, right click and add a new item and select class. I will name it user BLL that is user business logic layer and press enter to create one so this is our business logic layer here we will create getter and setter for our project in order to create getter and setter properties i will use shortcut that is typing p r o p and press tap twice that is tap tap <coughs> so we have successfully created our first getter and setter so our first get and setter will be id of integer data type so just press tab and it will go to next my property here i will uh, type the name of our first get and setter so it is id and press enter and again enter let's check what columns do we have in our user table Let's go to table and tbl user so we have id then first name last name email username password we have to create all the get and setter for all our columns so let's create get and setter for first name last name email etc so i'll go to the another line and type p r o p and press tap tap so our first name will be of string data type so i will type strng press enter and tab and press tab and this will be first underscore name and press enter again enter again prop tap tap is this will also be a string data type and then tab it will be last name press enter again enter then again prop double tap 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 then a string this will be email email press enter again P R O P tap tap a string this will be username then press enter then what do we have let's check username then password contact address password P R O P tap tap a string then this will be P S S W R D password press enter and P R O P tap tap a string this will be contact then prop tap tap then a string add address and enter in enter enter let's check once again we have got address then gender user type added date added by gender user type so gender will be also be a string data type so prop tap tap a string then tab G E N D A R then enter enter P R O P 
tap tap so integer i don't know let's check out some small gender then user type so string tab user underscore type this on do we have underscore or not yes we have underscore so user type then enter enter parop tab tab and next one is uh, added by added date so added date will be your date time date time date time tab then added underscore date and enter again parop tab tab and this is added by added by will be of integer data type so leave it the way it is and tab press in tab then added underscore by and press enter let's check how many would do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve let's check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we have successfully created our business logic layer that is get translator for our user model so this is it for today in the next episode we will create dart access layer that is a uh, class with different methods like insert method update method delete method select method etc so thank you so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like and share if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible if you like to see more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe and click on little bell icon so see you soon bye bye